Hello, 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 hello. We are live. Apparently, we are live, but I don't know. Need to wait and see. Hello, everybody. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I know many people are sleeping already. No. But I'm here in the US and it's still day, really. Still very early for people to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, certain part of the country still like uh, two o'clock or something like that. Yeah, Mr. Art 10. Hello, Mr. Art 10. I'm here. Yeah, you, where are you from, bro? What is your real name? R10. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Steve Chelsea. Mr. Igues, Iguesi from Nigeria. Yeah, that's good. Just tell us where you, you are from. You know, your name and uh, your country or your city. Good afternoon, America. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, America. I'm fine. Yeah, Steve is fine. From the blue country. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Arten don't want to reveal himself. He doesn't want to show his face. He doesn't want to show his ID. So he can still anonymous. So he can continue the campaign. Right, <laughs> without revealing anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm from the blue country, but I am live from the US, but the country of all origin. Wow, this coffee is still very hot for some reason. <clears throat> Kenya, Mike. Yeah, I'm gonna send the link, but just make sure that you you have a, a good internet connection and your mic is working properly. Maybe put your mic close to your mouth because most of the time, Steve, when I got you here and like I can't hear you and it's not good for, you know, not good for the the rest of the stream if if i can't hear you and you know the bug or lagging you know it's not it's not good for the presentation of the show if that makes sense mr cash is from nigeria my own brother happy new year to you where you been you've been on vacation for the new year celebrating and and spending your cash mr cash um yeah so i'm gonna send the link to people so you can come and talk to us mr cash if you want to come and talk to us we're gonna respect you and give you the voice everybody you don't have to pay anything it's free you just need a strong internet connection very good uh, mic, you know, so we can hear you. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so people, say hi to me. Tell me where are you from or where are you watching from, you know. You can be from Nigeria, but we, you are watching from England, London, or somewhere, Kenya, you know? It's good to know. So we're going to discuss today what? Anything, really. It's late for certain people. They need to go to bed. If they want to talk about something, just go ahead. 
And uh, we're going to also analyze Frank Lampard press conference, what he said about uh, injuries, about the youth, and about his team. I mean, he talked about the pressure, that he's not afraid of the pressure because pressure has been part of his entire life. And when you play or coach a team like Chelsea Football Club, you have to expect a lot of uh, a lot of pressure, and especially from the social media. That's what he said. So he knows what is happening, and uh, he's conscious that anything can happen. This is part of football, and he acknowledged that he he's learning about himself a lot every time he loses a game of of football. But also, players need also to perform. Go on the field and be proud of yourself and do something no matter what he can do it's it's your responsibility to put that ball at the back of the net don't blame the coach when you don't score one on one come on we create the platform for you it's it's up to you now to finish those chances right so guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also Give me a like, man. Give the, the video a like so it can be promoted by YouTube and many people can join us. Have your say, man. Have your say. Say whatever. Well, be respectful. Not whatever you want to say, but yeah. Say something that we don't know. So. All right. Yeah, hit the like button. Okay, let me just send some links here to, 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 to invite people. Copy. So <clears throat> I'm not going to send it in private. I'm going to send it to everyone, okay? If you want to talk. Steve, yeah, everybody, I mean, I don't mind people saying, people, uh, Frank Lampard out. I don't mind. We, we all have our opinion. Let them say whatever they want. I just don't want a people who insult other people. People who say, Fat Frank, you know, I hope such and such happened to him. I, I hope we lose so he can leave. He's such and such, such insulting people, their families. This is football. You don't like him, fair play. But you have to keep it respectful. So it's okay. We have uh, another brother here or... Brother or sister, I don't know. I can't read the language. But he say, hi, from Thailand. You want to come? You want to talk to us? There is a link here. Brother from Thailand, you can talk to us. Let us know how Chelsea doing in that part of the world. How did you become a Chelsea fan? And uh, all the good stuff. The link is there. Mike, I really hope and pray that you have a very good internet connection and your mic is unmuted so we can hear you properly. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to like cut you off so I don't, I don't disturb the stream. Because sometimes when I watch the stream back, you know, after the show, it's just horrible for people who... Who are just like I will give somebody like five minutes and look, you can't even hear. We're just fighting about the mic and nobody can hear. It's just very bad. So, yeah, my brother DJ Sev, how are you doing? Um, hello, hold on. can you hear me, bro? Yes, I can. Well, hello. Are you Sorry. home already? Yeah, Sorry. I broke Sorry. it. Hear me? Yeah, I can, can you hear me now. now? Mm -hmm. I'm doing. You're right. Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, just having my coffee. It's uh, it's very cold outside. It's snowing. You got snow, and lucky. It's, you. <laughs> and it, it's just uh, ugly. Yeah, it's ugly. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, what, what what you make of uh, what you what you making of the uh, end coming up? You got you're confident we're gonna win. Uh, say it again. Are you confident we're going to win on Sunday? Yeah, Sunday we're winning. That that is a guarantee. For sure, is it? 
Yeah, for sure. Four, minimum four goals. Don't worry about it. We're going to destroy them. That's what I always say about every team, but we got destroyed, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I say. Every Hopefully game, not. we're gonna destroy them. We're gonna beat them up and whatever. Yeah, I I believe we're gonna beat them for minimum four mm -hmm. because we have. I mean, mm. I made a video early on saying that we're not gonna win that game, but you know we're not gonna win because no matter what the result is, it's only it's only this. Uh, what division are they? Like uh, League Two or something? It's a League Two team, you know, it doesn't count. League Two. Yeah, League two. two. So people are going to criticize. You win, they criticize. You don't win, it's even worse. So this is a game that is just like a lose-lose mm. situation already, but you can only beat what is in, uh, in front of you. So let's, let's just beat them and, uh, and, and go from there. Finally, we can celebrate the victory after I don't know how long. Yeah, for sure. So I, mean, I keep saying it. Um, I think at some, I think at some point we're going to have to batter some team at some point. I think that's due at some point when we get everything exactly uh, mm -hmm. in place and we're players are all playing in the right position. The team is going to take a battering. I'm hundred percent certain mm -hmm. of that. It's Give just them a like seven. Who, I, when, you, do you remember when Ancelotti? Used oh, that would be great. Us? My goodness, like eight, seven, Ancelotti, yeah, man. Yeah, I do. Back oh, in the day, me. like yeah. hey, we. We just punished uh, team like Aston Villa seven. We go to Wigan, we punish them eight, stuff like that. Somebody need to take a beating, really. I agree with you. Uh, so I'm I remember them days. I remember them days yeah. completely. Um completely destroy them. Now, right now, like small teams, they are not afraid of us. I remember no. back in the day when we used to win the game in you know, before even playing the game. We already won because mm -hmm. the, you know you can you can read the fear yeah. from the other team. Yes, of course. You just have to but look at the plays that we had. I mean, I mean, plays mm -hmm. that the opposition. They see yeah. players like John Terry, Didier Drogba, and I'm up for this game today. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to lose today. Now, yeah. now it's like now it's like I have my it chance. To be that way, now, does it? Yeah, I yeah. have my chance. Kepa Arisabalaga yeah. in goal. All I have to go to do oh, is just to shoot. <laughs> just shoot on target and I have my chance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And when they see somebody, oh, Jorginho, bar, all you have to do is just uh, like bully him, you know? Just be physical and Push he's going to give up. Gonna, so, right yeah. now... Um, or, if Christensen's at the, or if Christensen's at the back, another one. Oh, yeah, just pull <laughs> him off the ball. Yeah, just no bully problem, him we'll get a goal. Ball. No problem, you have a goal. You know? That is sad how... Yeah. How we became in this level, really? Yeah. My goodness. I tell you what, I would actually would love to see it, but I would actually love to see. Um, I don't think it will probably happen, but I would love to see Thiago Silva and Tamori at the back on Sunday. But I cannot see that happening. Just so uh, Tamori can play alongside him, see what it's like to play alongside him, and mm -hmm. learn. But yeah, I, I think Tamori. Now, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think Thiago Silva. Is going to play because we're gonna play on Wednesday, right? No, no, we he's, have not, another... he's not. He's not. Yeah, he's right. We're gonna play the Premier League on Wednesday, so Thiago Silva is going to be rested. And re really, if if we can't win against how it's pronounced, Mokom, Mokom, or Mokom, how do Mokom? I don't know. Mokom, 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 Mokom. Okay, so yeah. if we can't win against Mokom. I mean, what else? You know, I mean that is going to be ridiculous. You know, we, we don't need our best player to uh, to be there. We we just need no. our B or C team. But I, I just don't want to like play all kids. Yeah. Because kids can be sometimes weak no. and you know they can lose easily. Mm -hmm. So I want the I, I want the kid, but after like. We, if we are winning like 3 0 or something, you can you can put some kid, but right now, just let go and win. <laughs> would you start Timo Werner up front? Because I'm thinking mm -hmm. the reason why I would start him 
um, against Morecambe. I know it's a small team, whatever we're saying, but it's just so mm-hmm. he can get some goals and get his confidence up. At the same time, if he does not score against Morecambe, can you just imagine what social media is going to be like about Paul Timber? <laughs> I can just yeah. imagine. Yeah. Well, I, I, I respect your opinion. I wanted just to see Giroud. That is that yeah. was in yeah, my yeah, yeah. starting yeah, yeah, eleven. I want to see yeah. just yeah. Giroud there yeah. and just give Timo a rest and let's see what is yeah. going to happen on Wednesday. But hi, hey, I, I I I understand he can be there on Wednesday and maybe score a hat trick like uh, like Kai Havert did. Mm. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. So let's let's. Uh, who is who is somebody sending me some message? Oh, so I have some people in the queue. Okay, I'm gonna put you through. Just be patient, a little bit of patience, please. Um, yeah. So I think, and the funny thing is, like, uh, Timo Werner and Kai have it still on social media. Like almost every single day, they mm. update their, you know, their info and like, hey, you know, they you, are. yeah. And I'm like, if I was them, I, I was going to hide myself for a little, a, a little while, you know, get away from people and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. try to win first. Because I don't know if they can read all the comments. Oh my gosh, I don't yeah. know. If they read those comments, sure. it's gonna be well, very damaging for them. Don't you true. think so? True as well. I mean, uh, for sure. I mean, like. Oh, I do, I do, and I was I was only bringing that up. I mean, for sure, I I want Jira to probably start as well on 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 Sunday. To be fair, um, but I was just only raising it, thinking because Timo Werner's not scored for some time now, maybe mm-hmm. he needs need this goal. kind of game to get his confidence up or get, get him off the bench, get him off the bench just to so that was all. But for me, I know for me, I think yeah, obviously Jira should start, um, or mm-hmm. Tem- or Tammy Abraham, one of the two. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was just it's just more the confidence thing, I think. Mhm. Yeah. So let's uh, yeah. Let's let's hear Mike. What you say? And there is also Steve in the queue. Let's start by Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> hey, Green Tough. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, talk to us. What do you think? I'm good. To, uh, on my side, I think tomorrow no, is the game, huh? which we have to regain our confidence back. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. we have to give. You have to give them a strong, strong beating. <coughs> you know, you know, I have to say that. Yeah. We really need to punish some teams. I'm, I'm sick and tired of uh, of not winning games. But yeah. hey, uh, the, uh-huh. before I proceed, I think our next match is on Friday, date next, 15. Our the, next match is on uh, Friday, date 15, Friday. not yeah. Wednesday. Next week, yes. Oh. yes. Oh, did I say Wednesday? Okay. Yes, you said Wednesday. Oh, wow. That's, times, eh? that, that's, that tells you everything you want to know about me right now. <laughs> so I understand. I need, I, need, I need a lot of coffee to pick me up. I'm from work and so, it's cold, it's ugly outside. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, th- yeah, yeah, yes. Also, this is the time you should give a chance to the some of the players like Tomori. Yeah, tomorrow is not going to play. I Tomori. To, yes, I watched his, uh, one of your videos, I think mm-hmm. early this week, yeah? mm-hmm. where you talk about criticism. Yeah, yeah. Hijan. Hijan. Mm-hmm. And then I know you are a big fan of uh, Tomori, so I hope this, this is the time you should get a chance to play. Yeah, well, I, I'm a big fan of, I used to be a big fan of uh, Christensen too. You know, all the I'm a biased guy. At the end of the day, when it comes to the academy product, there are so many people who forgot that Christensen also is from the academy. So I supported him, you know, for a long time, but I just gave up. I'm like, this is the hope that kills you, bro. Christensen okay. always collapsed. Yeah, he will collapse, but I mean, we. Really? Uh, he was injured last time. I, he was injured. I assumed that he he faked. You know, I was one of those people who came up with the conspiracy theory, thinking that he faked it. But the problem is, Christensen doesn't help himself. This is not the first time. So every time when he gets even injured yeah. seriously, 
and then people are going to think that he's faking. But I've seen Great John. Can Jay. you give? <coughs> uh, Go ahead. Can you Go give ahead. us your lineup tomorrow? Your lineup tomorrow. Can you give us your lineup? I already made a video, bro. I don't want to spoil my video. Go to the green turf right now. Watch my last video. Yeah. I want. Did you watch it? Yeah. When you're done here, go there and watch the video. So you have to watch and like that video. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Let, let me just give you here. No problem. Okay. So my 11, I don't know what formation. I don't care about formation. I'm going to go with 4-3-3 three, three just for, you know, for the sake of the video, care yeah? about winning. Okay. So uh, Kepa, I know Kepa is going to play, but if I was given a chance, I was going to play my uh, mini, but Kepa is going to be in goal. Uh, Emerson, and I will go with um, Tomori. Tomori is not going to play, so let me not waste my time by uh, saying Tomori. I know um, Rudiger, so Rudiger <laughs> is going to play, and I'm I'm suspecting that Levy might play. Levy is a very good Frank, player from Frank. the academy. Um, from the academy. Because Christensen is injured. So I'm not going to be surprised. If Tomori doesn't play, Levy is going to play. And then uh, Aspiliqueta, of course. Aspiliqueta. That's back Tomo, four, Tomo, right? Tomori must play. Okay, that is another topic for another day, bro. So in the midfield, I will go with uh, Kai Harvard. Kai Harvard need a goal. He needs some confidence. And I will play him. I will go with... Um, Let's say, um, hmm. I don't know. I don't want to make a mistake because I already did my my starting 11. And um, I think in the middle, I'm going to go with Kova. Kovacic might do something. He might he might even score a screamer, you know? So yeah, Kova, Kova, Kova have to start. Kova, yeah, I'm going to uh, start with Kova and then Billy Gilmore. Billy Gilmore in the middle. And then Gilmore, front three. Gilmore. Yeah. Uh, front three, I will go with Olivier Giroud in the middle. Uh, Kalium Hassan Adoy. I, I don't know what. I love, I love to put Tamir. Yeah, Kalium. Tamir. So I don't know what position I'm going to play Kalium. And in the other side, I can go with Timo Werner probably just to give him some confidence, allow him to score a goal, stuff like that. So I will play no, him. No, 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 out. no. That no. is me. Okay, you you wait, you wait. You're gonna give me yours. This is you ask me my formation, so you you don't tell me no because this is mine, right? <laughs> so, Timo Werner to give him some confidence, but we need to win the game. You don't don't take it lightly. We we win the second half. You can put Angerin. You can play bait. You can play Lawrence. Five changes. So we have time. You don't have to start all kid. You go with uh, that team, which is strong enough. You beat them 4-0. You make changes. That is my philosophy. What is yours? Yeah, you I, think, I, think, I think Kai Havert, Kai Havert will start. Kai Havert? Say it again, please. Hello? Yeah, Kai Havertz will start, yeah. Okay, but I said Kai Havertz in the middle somewhere. Or did I forget again? I said my mid... No, my you mid, said Kai Havertz. Yeah, my midfield is going to be Kai Havertz, Billy Gilmore, and Kova. You know what I mean? So, I he's don't know. Kai mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's good. Very what good, about very good. you? Very good. I support... Uh, I support my brother. My brother saying uh, talking about uh, uh, Timo Werner. So mm -hmm. it's not much that you start Timo Werner. If I'm Frank Rampard, mm -hmm. I will just keep, uh, just keep, <laughs> just keep him on the bench, so he can read the game. Like few games, few games. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think Timo Werner is very poor. So you just keep him on the bench. Don't play because if if he does not score a goal. Uh, uh, there is another problem, another okay. issue. So yeah, I guys, respect you. I respect uh, your Vena opinion. That, that's, yeah, it, it can make sense. I respect it can your opinion. He can watch the game. Timo Vena can watch the game.
Yeah. Okay, so just uh, just give us your, yeah. you having a little problem with your your mic. Excuse me, you having some problem with your mic. Give us your starting 11 so we can move to another person because many people are on the queue waiting, please. Yeah. Your right. starting 11, please. Can you hear me clearly now? No. No, I can't hear you. It just uh... Yes. Uh, I like to pose a question to you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To our next, then, do you believe Timoana will deliver while playing at the wing or at the center? Well, Timo Werner is not playing as a winger, to be honest with you. He's playing mostly as a second striker. People call it winger, winger, but he's playing in on the left as a striker. I don't know how to make it clear, but the last game against City, he was in the middle. Look how he was drifting all over the field. He didn't want to be in the middle. That tells you that he feels more comfortable being slightly as a second striker from the left or right, whatever it is. So he's not like a proper, you know, number nine in the mid, in the mid. So we should forget the theories about uh, uh, players being played out of position. What are you doing? Are we back? Hi. Can you hear me, anybody? I'm having some issues here. <laughs> Sorry. Some issues. Hello, anybody? <laughs> Let's see if I can get a few more people add to the stream. Hey, Steve. Anybody can hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you, Green Top. This is Mike. I can hear you. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, man. I'm having some connection issues here for some reason. And yeah. DJ Sev, yes, you can come back. I don't know what happened. Everything went blank. I can't explain it. Technology, man. Technology. I'm too old for technology, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead, sir. Mike. Super, super careful. You have to unmute yourself in order to talk because your mic is off, so you can't, we can't hear you. Uh, DJ, yeah, you can come back, brother. Um, something happened with my connection here. Let's go. Yes, Mike. Take advantage. Okay. Nobody is there. Talk. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. So, uh, before before everything went off, eh, I remember you are just describing the one position, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, from that, I believe now we shouldn't forget about the theory of. Uh, players being played out of position. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. I think yeah. for the case of one, he plays well in that position. It's not a, it's not out of position. Okay, so for you, Werner should play in the middle, right? I believe. Okay, yeah, as I a, respect as a lone striker. As a lone striker. As a lone striker. But what happened against City? Did you see how he performed as a lone striker? Did you like Maybe. that, what you saw? Uh, okay, what I can yank on that game, I think everyone was... Was, was poor, down. not only him. Was poor. Yes. Okay. So, uh, then I believe what you normally say, if you are playing and everyone is poor, definitely mm -hmm. no one will deliver. Okay. Yeah, so let, let's wait and see what's going to happen in the future. Me, I believe that what is, he's better. Yeah, mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. go what ahead. Do you think, what do you think the, uh, our coach should do in order to ensure we go back to a winning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I respect your opinion. Just I think that uh, being a lone striker <coughs> is not his position. And Frank Lampard said it so many times in the um, in the press conferences. And also Timo Werner said it, you know, the position that he liked to play. So, yeah, but uh, why not? Let's try. Mr. Michael. My yeah, I'm watching since why not like, like why not we try like a 442 or something like that at the moment or a 3521 or something like that but okay since Timovena doesn't like playing like uh, alone let's try a 442 let's see if that actually can work because um at the moment we need him to get his form and his form is just really dipping low and mm -hmm. um, he has his lack of confidence at the moment and that's the truth like after the Germany's game you can we can actually sit down and say that this Germany's game actually we thought that this thing didn't affect him, but you can see that game actually affected him because before the performance, literally, he was scoring like with five games in a row. Then after the Germany's game, literally, he has been missing chances, chances, even clear chances that he will be able to score. He's, he's missing it. So at the moment, okay. I feel like if you want, if you want to play Timovena, you play Timovena with Giroud. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. Yeah, that's why uh, on Sunday, I want, I want to try them together, you know, and see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, that's why yeah. I, I put him in my formation for Sunday. But I believe that they, they are trying those things in training, you know? Yeah. So you can't just come up with a formation out of the blue and start playing. I think Frank Lampard yeah. is trying different combination in the training, but it's not working. That's why he's not, you know, changing too much. And I remember every time Frank Lampard tried to change something, People are going to complain. Oh, why he's changing and toasting and, you know, everybody got a formation. Everybody got an opinion. So yeah, yeah. sometimes being a manager is not as easy as we think, you know. It's easy to, see, it, to see mistakes from our houses, you know. But yeah. when it comes to coaching, it's, uh, it's completely different. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Our brother is back. DJ Sev uh, hey, is man. back. What are you saying, bro? I'm all good, mate. Sorry about that. I think my reception, I think my thing went on me as well at the time. <laughs> no, it was that. my fault. I, 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 I right. disappeared, you know. I couldn't see even myself here. It was crazy. Yeah, what do you have to say about, yeah. you know, I think the positioning is, again, a problem from other people. They think, what, what is uh, Timo Werner's natural position? That's... For me, for me, he should play as a forward. Um, I know, I know. Um, when he was playing at Leipzig, he was coming from the left. But then also, he had another striker up front with him. I think it was Paulson up front with him, and mm -hmm. he was getting his goals like that as well. Um, in terms of a lone striker, I think he can play that role as well. Um, but again, it's. I think what it all comes down to is rather than crosses coming like we've been doing, he needs to have ball to feet, mm -hmm. so he can actually run with run with the ball, go past his man, and score the goal. That's what we've known Timo Werner to be. Not a guy who really, who really, who really headers balls into the back of the net, because he's mm -hmm. not known for that. So, yeah. um, and the thing is, he's got the pace as well. This is the other thing we forget: the guy's got pace to burn. And when he does get the ball, he gets a yard of somebody. That's it. You just go, and he can just finish the ball. And that's it. Back of the net goal. So I think we mm -hmm. need to play to the guys. I think we just need to play to his strengths. Really, I think sometimes we don't do that. And I can see, yeah. you can see the frustration. You can see the frustration on his face when he doesn't get that. 
you can see the yep. frustration. I actually, I actually do feel sorry for him in that way. Um, but as I keep saying, the guy's a quality striker. He's proved it for years in the Bundesliga. And um, I think he'll come good in the Premiership. I really do. I really think he's going to be good for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Say yeah. Something? Go ahead. Yeah. Sure. Like, and um, one thing I would say about him, um, and um, we all know that um, Timo Werner obviously has the pace. But like, one thing yeah. about Timo Werner is like when he's inside the box, he thinks yeah. twice with the ball. Like, just shoot it one time. All you need to do, you're a striker. You you just shoot the ball. We don't need to see your magic used to doing Jenny because I mean that's what he always. When he gets into the box, he always wants to like dip into the left, then shoot something. Like when you get the ball, this is the Premier League. The, the, the Premier League is fast. Everyone is mm -hmm. fast. So no one is waiting for you. The moment you get the ball and you have a chance to shoot, just shoot. I, I think that Timo Ben at the moment, he's putting too much in his head. And I feel like, okay, we, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see this, but I wanted to say, let's play this. Um, there's this kid from our academy. This is his junior son or something like that. That boy has been doing so well. I wanted to mm -hmm. see him actually play ball. To, um, I wanted him to play. I wanted him to play, but I feel like we need to give Timo Werner confidence. And if this kind of game can give him confidence, I mean, let's just see. Because at the moment, I just feel like Timo Werner thinks too much when he has the chance to finish off the game. Like, just finish off the game and stop um, thinking too much. We just want you to be scoring goals. Because at the moment, how can you tell me that Tammy Embraham is the highest goal scorer for us in the Premier League and Giroud is literally, I think Giroud is five on five goals in the Premier League and you're still on four goals. I mean, and Giroud has hardly started. Tammy Embraham has hardly started. Even Hudson Odoi has hardly started. I think he has had, what, eight um, appearances this season and has contributed in nine goals. So if someone can yeah. do that and he's coming off the bench and you have been playing have, every I, single game. Yeah, I don't, have just need to accept it. I don't have start with me here. But I know what you mean. He, he need to score and he need to stop thinking too much before shooting. What do you say, Mike? What is your response to that? Okay, I understand for the case of Warner, we mm -hmm. say much is expected from him. Mm -hmm. So we are we are so much expecting from him. So we should be patient enough. And we Man, should but give him when time. You spend, when, when you spend that kind of money and when... He, he 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 was supposed to be the second coming of Jesus, you know. So people don't yes, want to yes. really wait. You know what I mean? I, I, I understand, yeah. but uh, you see, when he came for the first time, he used to score mm -hmm. goals. You remember? But yeah. after some games, we don't know what happened. He no longer scored goals. So we yeah. expect much from him, and then we give him a lot of pressure. To an extent. He, when he, he comes to the time of scoring, making decision, so he's, you are blaming me for him. So you blaming me for putting too much pressure on Timo Werner? Is that right? No, 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 no. But the, I like your all oh, your your videos. I do watch them. I like them. <laughs> no, <laughs> and no, I know I'm you are joking. I know. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> but you know, I'm just. I'm I'm joking, but hey, you know, if you are a professional football player, you you have to expect pressure. You know, pressure is part of football. So yeah, he need he need to he need to expect it, bro. People are waiting for goals. I understand. Don't put too much pressure, but you have to score goals. But you you, but you know some, think, some of the goals. I feel like, some, mm -hmm. Go I, ahead. I feel like I, I feel like I'm Frank Lampard. Um, doesn't want, is being stubborn also at the same time because look at you can see the similar traits that Frank has the same trait that um Sari had playing a player that wasn't performing and kept on playing like Jojo when he brought Jojo Jojo was one of the like he was literally Bakayoko the, the mm -hmm. difference between Bakayama and Bakayoko is that Conte saw that Bakayoko wasn't really good enough and loaned him out and was taking but Jojo and um, but Jojo was playing game he literally took off them he took him. Um, Kante's position that season and, and we got exposed so many times and the thing with them yeah. Lampard is that he's keeping on he's playing the same 4-3-3 that literally every single team have now clocked Chelsea we can't play 4-3-3 like that every single game it's not every single game we play 4-3-3 I mean losing to Man City a team that didn't have a striker a team that had five of their big, and big players out we lost to them losing to Arsenal <laughs> 
Arsenal played Academy Boys and they came to Chelsea. And they, before Arsenal played with Chelsea, they hardly even scored one goal. It took, it, I think it's only like in how many games before Chelsea, they had only scored twice and considered more than what 11 goals. And they played Chelsea and they, they dismantled us. We, we look at everything. We had we, we, we destroyed them in position. I'm tired of this position and not finishing of games. And, and we lost on penalties. Aston Villa, the same thing. The only game that we didn't even dominate, like dominate crazy, was West Ham. And we, funny enough, we won yeah. 3 new. So I don't get what Lampard is doing. Lampard is just being stubborn. Okay. Well, I, I respect your opinion. Let's move on and uh, talk to other brothers who just joined us. Uh, Super Chelsea, what do you have to say? Super Chelsea, do you have your um, mic think, on? Yeah. Uh, Are you praying or something, Mr. Gone. Chelsea? <clears throat> okay, we're going to come back to you. Let's go. Richie, what do you have to say, brother? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, What's going on, brother? How are you guys doing? Chelsea, we're in this together, man. <laughs> How's it going? It's been a while, man. How are you doing? Ah. Uh, yeah, same old, same old. I think you have more snow than us. We uh, have a lot yeah. of snow actually, here. actually, today is a, a lot better. I wish I could show you guys this, but you know, it's actually a lot better today. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah me, it's ugly, man. It's ugly. Uh, I, I went at work, and because my car is too small, I couldn't drive back home. Somebody, oh did, my god, somebody <laughs> hit me with you know a bigger car to come back home because. It was ugly. It was that uh, ugly. Right. You know? so. Don't worry. 2021, big cars mm -hmm. soon come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 well, I have, a, I, have, I, have a, I have another one, a bigger one when I, I use for snow. But this morning, I didn't know it was going to be oh, that ugly. Oh, you by surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. they drove me back home. So the small car right now is in the parking lot at work. <laughs> But I, I have I can I can borrow another car or take a Huba or something. Yeah, Huba for sure. Something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, man. yeah. It's one of those ones. Like I was actually vacuuming the house, uh -huh. listening to all what the brothers were saying. You know, and okay. to be honest, almost all you guys are right. But you know, mm -hmm. Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, yeah. it took time to build Rome. So we have to be patient with the guys. We have to be patient with Timo Werner. And we mm -hmm. have to be patient with Kai Harvest, Kai Harvest too, you know, because they're all at the end of the day they're all young, and they're you know they're up and coming too. So like this is just the first season, man. You just gotta give them time. And yeah, mm -hmm. you're right, Timo Werner. He should like util um, utilize those chances he's been getting. Like when you yeah. get those chances right away. But you know it is what it is. Like I agree. I agree <laughs> with you. Let's give them a little bit of chance. How was your day today? Oh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Actually, I, I went out last night. So, like, mm -hmm. I kind of, like, you know, been having, like, a, a clumsy day the whole day. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, stay on the line. Mr. Chelsea. Yeah, no worries. Super, Ch Super Chelsea, <laughs> if you want to talk to us, please unmute yourself, please. Super Chelsea, can you hear us? Super Chelsea, Super Chelsea. Okay, we move. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Anybody else? Let's say yeah. Steve. Steve, you wanna say something? Steve, Chelsea, you wanna say something? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sir. Uh, as as for me, uh, I want Flan mm -hmm. to, to I want Flan to start uh, to uh, put Movena, uh, but just put him on the bench. Don't play him. Put him on the bench to watch the game. Okay. Put him on the bench. So if for you, he need to learn game, from the bench. Put, don't don't play. Just put him on the bench. Timo Werner can watch. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. He need to okay. learn from the bench and watch his mistake and watch the game so that the next game, the next game, okay. he can work hard. You see, he will score. If he put in, if he does not score, another problem. The social media, okay. tweet, everybody will start criticizing Timo Werner. This one. Uh, this, uh, flop, all this. So you have to, to. I know you can understand what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, we. You, yeah, you have a little so bit of problem with you your, your mic. Just but, put him on the bench. Oh, the game. Uh, okay. So Steve Chelsea. So anybody want to answer? Now that they say something. Yeah. Do you guys ahead. think that Chelsea? Do you, do you guys think that like we're going to buy anyone this January? Like, do you think it's possible? Like Chelsea is going to go out in the market and get someone? 
I feel like in like on our situation, like like the times we're in and the situations we're in right now, that's the only smarter decision we could possibly do. But to be honest, I just don't know. But who do you think we can bring in? Like if I had my if I had my way, I like I honestly go for Declan Rice, man. I feel like with Declan Rice. Yeah, we need to sell Jojo. Yeah, good choice. If we can, we can get rid of Jojo. That guy, Jojo. He's been disappointing this season. The guy has been disappointing this season. He has missed five penalties and literally <laughs> penalties that can save us. Like against Arsenal, we, oh. we were like 3 1. We could have been 3 2. He missed. The, um, the Liverpool game, we were 2 1. We, we were 2 0. We could have gotten a goal. And even Tam Abraham had a shot on target. So imagine if I'd gotten a goal, maybe Tam Abraham, but the game was over. So Tam Abraham didn't just feel like, oh, what's the point? It was over. But we had chances like what we had chances that you give Jojo um, jo- jo penalty. I don't know why the guy keeps on playing. I don't know why Lampard keeps on playing all these dead wood. Like yeah. stop playing Tammy. Stop playing Jojo. Uh, we, we, we don't want to see Jojo play. None of us wants to see Jojo play. We didn't beg Jojo when he came into this club. It was literally sorry that brought Jojo into this club. None of us knew who he was. I mean, and we're suffering it. So I feel like Jojo, we don't need Jojo because Jojo is that kind of player that pops up with his, his defensively, he's terrible. Um, he slows the game down. His mm-hmm. passing is only once in a while that you see him pop up with a very good pass. Other than that, and his penalties, and now he's looking bad in his penalties. So I feel like we need to show Jojo and bring on the Clarice because if, if the Clarice is going to fix it, because that's how the beginning of season when we bought Ben Chua, us Chelsea fans were going in and saying, some of us Chelsea fans, me, are not the among, but some Chelsea fans and, were like, oh, and, and the, think, this guy ain't going to do anything, but you can see this performing. Thing, so I just feel like we need to... With Declan Rice, that I was saying, yeah. the reason why we should also get him too, he's like a young motor, you know, he's young, up and coming. He has like mm-hmm. a really large motor that can, like, you know, he can run and, like, he can play like a whole 90 minutes. He can keep us in the game, you know? Yeah. Rather than Jorginho, yeah. he's tired, running out of breath, like... So anybody is a Jorginho fanboy here because... But it sucks that we house... need to get a player. Oh, my... me, no, me, no, no disrespect to Jorginho. Like, he's helped Chelsea a lot. Like, mm-hmm. we thank him. But, like, as of now, how we see... Um, soccer going, we don't. Mm-hmm. I don't think he can fit Chelsea's system. Yeah, I guess what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me here, I'm in trouble because my house is full full of Jorginho fanboys. You know you what they want? <laughs> yeah, they, they, no. I mean, the the girls, the girls. I don't know for some reason, everyone. Uh, everyone in my house is like, oh, buy me Jorginho, number five Jorginho, number... I'm like, do you know how this guy is performing right now? Uh, no, no. But no, no. Is... The only thing that sucks, the only thing that sucks in this whole thing is that we have to buy back the clean rice and it pains me that if we're buying him, we have to spend something like 50 million because this boy literally was from our academy. So I'm like, oh my God, here we go again to another Chelsea player that we had. Like, even it pained me off that we sent him, that we, we, when we saw them, Tariq Lamptey, because if, if oh, this James is injured, Terry Clancy would have been someone. Oh my God. <laughs> like that guy, that guy is a that guy is a bomb baller. And imagine if Rich James wasn't good. And funny enough, I feel like Terry Clancy and Hakim Ziyech would have been able to connect because I don't think that um Ziyech and Aspi can connect because Aspi is now old and he's too slow. But Rich okay. James has that young energy and they both not one time like most of our goals this season has been like a connection through Ziyech and um Rich James. So I feel like Selling Terry Clancy was just something that um, if, if Brighton goes to relegation, I feel we should just go back and get this guy because I mean Zabacosta ain't never going to get a chance. Victor Moses' time is done in Chelsea. I mean, do you expect us to be using Aspi? Aspi, I respect the guy and he's a legend, but he knows his time is getting up. So we just need to get him back Terry Clancy because I don't see any other um, right back that we can bring like a replacement for okay. Rich James when he's injured. All right, so uh, DJ Sev, our brother, is already back in the chat. Uh, uh, do Yo. you, can you, yeah, yes. uh, good, good. Can you respond? What do you think about Jorginho? Other brothers suggested that we have to sell Jorginho, and um, and another topic is about we need to go back and and buy buy back. I don't know. Anybody knows if we have a buy back clause for uh, uh, Tariq Lamptey? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we have first refusal on him. We have oh, first, first refusal, refusal on him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so do you think that so, he can... Yeah, go ahead. Wait, Jorginho. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Jorginho, we knew he fitted Sarri's system. Um, clearly, he's not... I don't think he's clearly Lampard's 
Lampard yeah. player. I think I think if Lampard could, I think if Lampard could sell him off, I think he would do it. Um, mm-hmm. But to be fair to the guy, he's actually mm-hmm. been professional and he's yep. actually said he's going to stay as well. So he wants to fight for his place. Um, mm-hmm. But for the for the long term, I don't think he's the answer. I think I think he probably will go in the summer. Um, it depends on how much you can fetch him, really, and who and who will actually take him. I can only see him moving if Sarri goes. If Sarri goes to another football club, then I can see him following suit and going there as well. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what mm-hmm. you guys think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The Okay, you want to say something, Richie? Pardon, Richie? Can yes, you hear yes, dogs. Can you hear? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see. Him. Oh, yeah. you hear me? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Anybody oh, yeah. want to say anything? Yes, oh. yes, yes. On my side, I think in this uh, in this summer you should not be spent at all. First, let's make use of what we have. We have the best. We can uh, use Gilmore instead of uh, uh, Georgino. Yeah. Gilmore can do better. We also have okay. So Brother, in this you, you... of crisis. Both of these things missing. Listen, brother, I'm going to put you off for now and bring you back, Mike, because I think you're you're having some issues with your mic and the background sound. So uh, I'm going to take... But the only thing I... I what well, I think with Chelsea is that... With Chelsea, I think that Frank Lampard knows mm-hmm. his play. He knows the... One thing I will sit down and say is that Frank Lampard knows the players that should be playing. But he wants mm-hmm. to prove something that he's costing us games. Because... At the moment, um, Portinodoy needs to be playing because the boy is having a good form. Okay, last season he didn't really have a good form, but this season mm-hmm. now he's picking up. He should be playing. Giroud needs to be starting over oh, 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 over Tam Abraham. Like no hesitation. I don't care if he's thirty three. And um, this guy is um, um, thirty. What um, Lewandowski and Ronaldo and they're still scoring goals. Giroud is a professional. He's going to get goals for Chelsea, and he has been doing it even even when we lose his scores goals and um we need to also play this guy Billy Gilmore. I don't want to see Jojo play again. Like as long as me I'm concerned I'm Jojo out. Like if we can sell the guy okay. in January to any club, let him just go. All right. So guys guys we still have five minutes to go. So we're gonna start by saying goodbye. Go Michael you have a, a score prediction for Sunday and then we're gonna move and finish by DJ. Let's let's go okay. Michael my score yeah. prediction, I'll put I'll put Chelsea um seven one. What seven? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel we'll, I, I feel we'll concede. Okay, but seven I feel like one. We'll score. Yeah. Who, who is going to score? His mother and father. If we play um most, if we play like um Timo Werner, I feel like Timo Werner will score. If we, that's if he starts, I don't know. If he plays yet, I feel like he will score. Maybe um Tim, Tino Andre, if they're starting, he'll score. Someone like Louis Bates. I, I I don't really know. I just feel like who score. I don't. I can't really. I don't know the players that Lampard will play. But if I had to play those players that I just called, I feel they're all chipping in. They go. Okay. So Michael, come back anytime you want. Bro. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. And uh, guys, have a nice day. Uh, you too, Michael. Have a nice day. Yeah. All right. So let's move to Mr. Richie from Canada. Oh. Yes, sir. Your score prediction. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I remember last time when we spoke, I went overboard and said Chelsea was going to beat Man City 4 0. I know, Chelsea. Yeah. You never lose faith, but I'm mm-hmm. just going to keep it classy today. Just 2 0 for t- this game. 2 0 for Chelsea. <laughs> All right, brother. Uh, Richie, man. Uh, let's catch up at some some point, maybe uh, tomorrow. For sure, for sure. Okay. DJ. Thanks, brother. Oh. Yo, yeah. take care, Richie. Take care, bro. Take care, Have man. All right, let's go to DJ. What do you have to say? Your score prediction, please. Did you know what? I, lo- I love, I actually, I actually love the confidence. 7 1. Yeah. <laughs> that would be wicked. That would be yeah. absolutely brilliant if we can. You know what? I rate, I give the guy confidence. I mean, I would love my team to get some goals. Um, I think mm-hmm. we need, as I said, when I said to you earlier on the beginning of the show, I said we need to spank some team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So whether it will be this Sunday, Sunday we're playing, isn't it? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday. Like, yeah, if whether it would be mm-hmm. this team, whether it would be Morecambe, I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna say probably four, I'll go for four, maybe five nil. Yeah, um, I, I, I expect, agree with you. Expect, uh, I'll go, for, I'm gonna go for Hudson the to score. I think, okay. um, he was, um, 
yeah, Hudson Adoy to score one of the goals anyway. Hopefully, Kai Havertz mm-hmm. will bang it if he's starting. Mm-hmm. And obviously, uh, Giroud, Giroud, obviously. Okay, I see. All right, brother, thank you for being here. You always here for me, and uh, God you. bless you. Uh, Cheers, bro. Uh, good night. Thank and you for having me tomorrow. on the show as always. No, no problem. Yeah, tomorrow, sure. brother. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go uh, add some. Oh, man, there is one person left here. Let's go. Mike, what you have to say? Yes. You want to say goodbye to people? Yes, yes. First, uh, I'll thank you, Grinta, for what you always do. No us. problem, brother. No problem. This is a nice opportunity for giving us to meet and talk and share and give us our opinions. <laughs> yeah, we are family. We are family here. Anytime. Sure. Bro. I- I believe we are going to score 4-0. Four 4-0. Zero. Mm-hmm. Four zero. Yeah. Who is going to score? In the favor of Chelsea. Yeah, who is going to score? Timo Werner or Callum Hassan? Who? I expect Odoi to score two goals. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely one of our midfielders should score. Either mm-hmm. Kovacic or Havertz. Okay. Then uh, Werner, if he's going to play. Werner, two. Okay, yeah. Yes, 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 I yes. really hope At so. least mm-hmm. let him score so that he can gain the confidence and yeah. start scoring the goals, those golasos in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's yeah. that's what we need right now. Let's let's win, and uh, no matter what team we play, we, we need to win, you know. So, exactly, um, we, all right, we need so, to go back to our winning situation. That's that's it's true. So, brother Mike, yeah. uh, it was a pleasure yeah. talking to you. Come back tomorrow if you have time. God bless you, bro. Bless you too. Good night. Good night. All right. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching us uh, talking Chelsea. Good night or good whatever time it is in your country. And uh, see you probably tomorrow or when I have a chance. Goodbye.